4,398 pounds, just under 4,400 pounds dry weight. Rockwood 2503S couples camp in Murphy bed rear bathroom uh, monster just came back in on trade here and uh, we sold this to its one and only original owners. They took it out for uh, a uh, better part of a couple years and had a good time and then they decided you know what we've got a vehicle that could haul a little bit more than this and they swapped her out for a White Hawk with a full super slide and a fixed bed and they are rolling out this morning just in time for the 4th of July. Quick look with the slide clothes. This is a very easy to pack and travel floor plan. Um, you can see that you can get to every square inch, everything here in the kitchen, all the big kitchen storage space here in the closet, the pantry, whatever. Obviously getting to your front bedroom uh, wardrobe closet space, very simple and easy with the slide clothes. But you're looking at it and you're going, yes, but how can I get to the refrigerator with the slide out closed? Well, Hans and Franz, we have a way. And that's what the bathroom door is for. You walk around here, if you gotta pack up the fridge, open the bathroom door, voila, refrigerator. Now inside here, it looks just about like it did the day it first left Halet RV. This is clean, well kept, well maintained. I'm having difficulty even locating something as simple as a cabinet abrasion or bump or anything like that. This has been very nicely kept. Now what's really kind of cool about these is if I back up a little bit, you see that you get the seating of a big like super slide model. You get the sofa, you get the big U dinette of a super slide model, but you get it without the weight and like the cost of a super slide. What's nice though, if you take a look, we still get the benefit of this easy, quick setup, one piece fixed folding Murphy bed right here that makes uh, camping life very simple and easy. You get the benefit of the walk around queen bed with side stands, with hanging wardrobe closets. But then again, during the day, you can put the bed away and bang, we get all this nice living space. Now you might've noticed how that the bed doesn't block the entry door uh, when it's down, so it's simple to get through. Now here in this little uh, Rockwood, you're going to see, I don't use a trick fisheye camera lens. This is a uh, two and a half inch vaulted ceiling. It does have a bit of an arch to it. It helps this camper look and feel a little bit nicer and more open inside. And you'll also notice that we have double AC runs. That's the cool thing about these. Rockwood's hyper consistent on their construction methods. And this little, mostly one room camper has the same double ducted AC system that a big Rockwood signature fifth wheel has. All LED lights. And I, I've kind of got us in dry camp mode right now because uh, unfortunately I'm kind of low on battery power. But it was also hot, so I left the door open. I figured, you know what, on a sunny day with the screen door open, this is what it's going to look like. So it'd be kind of cool for folks to get to see that. Now, this was the Sydney decor, which at the time this was made was my favorite because it had what I called the milk chocolate fabric. It looked like a little bubbly, it looked like the bubbly foam on top of a good glass of uh, a nice rich milk chocolate, you know. Spinning around here, you can see that we do have that big full u dinette as soon as the camera adjusts. I probably should have shut that door. It screws up the camera lighting. But... Now we've got a, this is a full like seven foot basically u dinette. So you've got like all the space in the world for not just couples camping, but like friends can come over, adult guests, grandkids, whatever. We do have a handy little uh, full extension drawer down here to make life easy. And actually what's kind of cool in Rockwoods, they're not just fully aluminum frame campers. Anything they build, whether it's like a bed deck and a bigger trailer or like the dinette here, anything they build basically is going to be aluminum frame furniture. Now, um, up top here, what I do like about this is our control panels up here away from grandkid fingers so that they can't mess with your slides and awnings and things like that. This is made with the maple hardwood upgrade, so you do have hardwood, uh, true maple hardwood doors. And this is all longer lasting pocket screwed cabinetry and everything's holding together exactly like it's supposed to. Original electronics, even the original outside grill is all present. And I mentioned the grill because this TV has a quick release uh, mount where it can actually dismount from its swing arm and it can be hooked up outside for, you know, tailgate grilling use outdoors. Uh, Bluetooth, DVD, stereo inside, outside, and even has face mounted HDMI plugs. Rockwood was one of the very first brands to do that for like streaming stick purposes. So, uh, again, it's an easy couples camper, but what if you are going to have a grandkid for the weekend? Well, that's where we flip this thing down uh, here into uh, u dinette sleeper mode. But what's really cool about it, you don't usually see a lot of dinettes on the door side of the RV. They're usually in the slide. 
And that's where the kitchen slide in this Rockwood really comes in handy because you maintain viewing and windows on the door side of the RV. Now, as we do pass through, one of the other benefits of a, uh, of a non-furniture slide in a camper this size is that there's no need for carpet. This is an extremely easy cleaning carpetless camper. And then it's actually very easy to not understand this kitchen. That vertical pantry right there, all the way across to this big closet cabinet pantry combo job right here. This is all part of the slide out. This whole storage area is negative space hanging out over thin air so that you don't have a bulky cabinet right in your face when you walk in the door. Even all the original owner's manuals that we give our customers in that handy little uh, organizer tote when you buy here at Halid RV. Now there is a deceptive amount of countertop space in this. It's actually a lot better than a lot of folks realize because First of all, we have recessed sink and stove, so that gives us just more square foot of functional countertop prep space. Secondly, uh, real quick note, this is a stone cast sink. It's, it's not a cheaper plastic sink. It's rated for up to 500 degrees of heat exposure before failure, meaning boiling water will hit that and never make the thing uh, flinch. But look behind the stove top. Do you see how there's like an extra 18 inches roughly of space behind the stove? That gives you an idea that this is an extra deep countertop. So what you have back here is all the room in the world for like all your coffee maker, appliances, toaster blender, whatever. And then you have all your upfront function space. Whether you're doing dishes or whether you're just getting stuff ready to go, you've got plenty of room for it. Now over here we've got our gas electric fridge freezer and that kind of forms the hallway in a sense as we do head back to the rear bathroom here. And once again, I oh. I finally found it. Someone's thumbnail must have dug the door right here. I finally found the defect with this camper. That's literally the only thing I found on this camper that I am not like really stoked and enthused about. Something Rockwood has done for years, better than almost any other brand, is bathrooms. And this little camper has a monster bathroom. And that's what's kind of cool about this one, the 2503 Rockwood. If you follow a lot of Rockwood models, or if you have one of their brochures, or if you just look on our website, this is an interesting offset. This is a, uh, uh, an, an evil twin, in a sense, to the 2507 Rockwood Mini Light. The difference here is that instead of an outside kitchen in a Murphy bed camper, this one has a direct entry bathroom door instead of an outside kitchen. So what that means is this is an easy come-go floor plan with full access in transit. And now we've got just an incredible amount of big open bathroom space. Uh, real quick note, of course, there, uh, you know, there are heat vents back here. There are air vents back here, so it does stay comfortable. And then the little detail stuff, like Rockwood puts the Flappy, Doody, Flappy Doodle Deluxe 9000. That's what that's called, by the way. <coughs> anyway, so that it doesn't smash into your nice big glass radius shower door and cause a problem. And you've got excellent counter space back here in a bathroom. And that's something travel trailers, especially little ones, are not known for. Spinning around, more cabinet space! You know, what do we, <laughs> what do we burn instead of witches? More witches! Well, Monty Python reference for anyone paying attention. So, that has a deadbolt, by the way, so that people aren't, you know, looking at you in the bathroom. But a, the, the same big shower in here that you'd have, like, in a fifth wheel, big old corner radius shower. And because Rockwoods have a laminated roof, they can actually install skylights at really funky 45-degree angles like this because there aren't wooden cross members that they have to deal with. They can place that skylight anywhere they want to make this thing very tall person friendly, even for somebody like me. Outside here, I just... Just like the inside, I couldn't ask this to be in any better shape. Um, it's not a, a late model camper that someone's dishing off and you're inheriting their problems. It's just a late model camper where somebody went, you know, we've got the truck, we could go bigger. That's all this is. So maximum length power awning with LED lighting, tilt and lock awning arms for rainy day use. Now, Murphy beds, kind of like hybrid campers, don't generally have good outside storage. But Rockwood was the first to really break that trend by giving you a one-piece fixed Murphy bed that is simpler and easier to use, but with storage under the sofa. Now, it's not quite as tall as normal pass-through, but it's actually a little wider than most, so you can still put some big stuff in here, like the outside grill that we're looking at. That all stores under the sofa through this baggage door. You don't you know, have to get creative with your storage solutions. Now, both entry doors can serve as a primary door because they're both anti-slam doors. They both have the double entry step. You don't need triples because this camper is small enough. It would, like, hit the ground. 
Um, and they both have the larger folding handles. So every door in this is treated the same. Did I mention simple solar prep up by those baggage doors, by the way, for those little portable cases. Larger 30 pound tanks, faster moving, not just power awning and jack, but a higher grade, faster moving awning and jack so that you set and break camp faster. Now this is made, and this is still roughly how things are equipped at Rockwood today. The skin color and the shape has changed a little bit, but uh, this is called the Sapphire Package, which kind of just became the standard Rockwood Mini Light, but it gives it the, the skin tone package instead of just a white skin, the frameless windows, um, uh, like the aluminum wheels, there were some other things that went into that. Now this is a fully laminated, all aluminum skeleton camper. So it's gonna be very lightweight, very long lasting. That's who Rockwood is. Rockwood, if you watch a lot of my new RV videos, I always say like if you're looking for the first, last, and only camper, Rockwood screams retirement grade. That's kind of what these folks are made for. Just because it's not 40 foot long doesn't mean it can't be a well-built, long lasting RV. And Rockwood has proven that time and time and time again. Um, Good look at that. Here's another thing, that awning clears both entry doors very easily. So, uh, you know, the, the come and go of this RV is just fantastic. Like, if uh, someone's, you know, sleeping on the dinette inside or you put the grandkid to bed, you can still kind of hop in and out and get to the bathroom without disturbing anybody. And again, that outside TV will hook up right here on that, uh, that little square right there. There's a matching square and quick release mount on the swing arm inside. And you've got your own little outdoor tailgate station right here. All the original equipment and everything still present on this little camper. Um, really, I think there's only one more thing left to do. I'm going to go take a peek at that roof. That's the one thing I haven't done yet, so we'll do that together for the first time. And I was foolish to doubt that they would have taken care of the rest of the RV, but not taking care of the roof in, in very fine fashion. That's a, This is also kind of a nice little opportunity to demonstrate how these have a nice, easy, walkable roof. Everything on here looks good. I don't see anything that's been damaged. It's obviously been clean, conditioned, and well-maintained. This is what you want them to look like, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you can see that the, the roof fixtures are not sun faded, so it's not like they neglected it. They did everything they were supposed to do. You're not inheriting someone's problems. You're just getting a nearly new camper at a used RV price tag. And it's not every day you can say that. I, I've been able to say it a couple times recently because midsummer here, a lot of times people go ahead and say, yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and take the plunge and upgrade. But not every day. So whether it's new, used, otherwise, this one, that one, another one, hitching pieces, parts, straights, enhancing truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we only do everything here at Halid RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.